Greetings and welcome back once again to Civilization Beyond Earth, where in the last episode we built our very first wonder and it has catapulted us in terms of score to the top of the leaderboards. Well, you know, it's not actually that high, I suppose, but one point above the ne our nearest rival. But uh, there's someone who's very, very far away. We don't have to worry about them too much right now. Uh, you have not made any deals, so oh, okay. Right. I think we're going to start this one off with a little bit of diplomacy. I think we need to talk with uh, this lady over here. Well, actually, no. We'll wait for this to become a city and then we'll talk with her. Because I want to say, don't settle near my lands. And if, as long as she agrees, that should mean we're safe. Ooh, they've got a manticore. Is that the one? Have I seen that one before? Did they have a manticore before? I may be forgetting. But, uh, we... As long as we, we say that early and they agree, it should mean they won't settle anywhere near our borders for a little while. Um, granted, we are probably going to have to agree to the same thing, so I want to uh, wait for that one to be finished. I could settle over here, but honestly, there's not enough good stuff there to really make me want to settle there. However, we are soon going to have to break this fort. When we do, we'll claim this fort, and then possibly we'll get down there, and we'll claim this area too. It'll be glorious. Uh, actually, it might be a little bit too close. Ah, damn, I think it is. Well, crap. Hmm. Is that the nest? No. That we could possibly settle there, as long as we have a lot of military to protect this area. Hmm, not sure about that one. Uh, I'll probably take quite a lot of uh, preparation work. I may even have to kill that nest first. We'll have to see. But those are the plans that I have, and we shall see how well they do for us. You're healing. Well, then you. Are you healing on my asthma? Or... No. Okay. They are marines as well. I believe. Are they marines? Yes. Okay. We've grown to four citizens. That means you should be possibly maybe producing some culture. Yes. Fantastic. I approve. Okay. Right. Production. Singhenes can produce something. I could make an ultrasonic fence, keep the aliens at bay, or I can make a farmer lab. Plus two health. I'm going to go for the farmer lab. And you're going to move along. Uh, we've got soldiers. The soldiers can fortify for the time being. We have got... Something in Demora we need to build. We built a Saito nursery there. Uh, farmer lab would probably be worth doing. But the recycler would be... Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of things here that we could build. Um, yeah, let's go for the farm lab. Let's also double check exactly what bonuses we're getting. Recycler. There we are. Plus one food. So it's worth building that everywhere. And the old earth relic is free. Okay. Alright, let's return to the map then. And next turn. Okay, not, not, not a bad start. I really do wish that they couldn't move their trade vehicles through my, my uh, lands. But I suppose it's not too bad. <sighs> kind of wish I had a coastal city, though. Ooh, quest decision. The stewards at our Saito nursery are reporting a monumental discovery. Through the study and hybridization of the ingenious fauna, we've managed to create a bioorganic mesh which mimics their cellular division. Integrating the mesh into our production would speed things along tremendously. It unfortunately takes a rather long time to create, so there's only so much to go around. We'll have to decide how best to distribute it. We can des designate mesh to unit production, so plus 5% for military units. Designate mesh for city production, plus one production from Saito Nurseries. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that one. Overall, we'll, we'll benefit from that. There's no reason the entire city should not benefit from this wonderful discovery. Spread the mesh around so that all production might be hastened. And finally, we have a new city. Oh, glorious. The very first thing I want you to do is a clinic. Thank you very much. And, of course, you're not free anymore. Welcome to the drudgery of real life. However, I have a special name in store for you because you are surrounded by forests. You are going to be Duwalden Varden. A city name, well, a name after a forest 
in uh, I forget the, the the book the the book series name. I'm afraid. I'm sure someone in the comments will correct me. But this was suggested by Spartan one four five four three. Well done, you. Let me just double check the spelling. Warden Varden. Weldon Varden, rather. There we are. Okay, good, good, good. We are doing well. Right, return to map. Now, we want the trade that we were previously doing there to do it again. So we'll get three production in our city, one food in our city, and three food in Dewaldenvarden, and six production in Dewaldenvarden. I approve of this enormously. And soon we'll also have a road there. Okay, where's our explorer? I... Oh, we've only got one. That's right. The other one got eaten. Ooh, a pack explorer. Oh, that's the Pan-Asian Corporation, I think, maybe? Cooperative, there we are. Corporation. <laughs> that made them sound American. All right, that, that is a pretty good position for all of our cities. Really well integrated with each other. We can get plenty of trade moving between them without much risk at all of them being attacked by aliens, which is an enormous benefit for us. But you have probably cleaned this place up, haven't you? You horrid little rotter. Oh well. F minus 4 health, that is so not good. Minus 10% to science in cities, minus 10% to culture in every single city. We need to fix that rather sharpish. We've got two pharma labs going up and one clinic. That will probably be enough, I imagine. They've already got another population. That's fantastic news. Right, you can go. We need to move you around a little bit. Let's head up there. Find out what's going on. Now. Previous route was down there. Five production per turn. Oh, that's glorious. But I prefer... Oh, that's really good, actually. What do, we, what do you get at stage three? Five energy. And I've got to beat you up. Uh, that'll be six culture and four food. No, we're gonna go. We're gonna go here. There we go. That'll do for now. now let's just hope that the aliens don't crush you utterly on the way. We're probably not that far off. Only sixteen turns off another virtue. Well, that may actually genuinely be a problem. Ooh, we've got another quest decision. The head of our new laboratory has an interesting proposal. At the moment, our research is quite broad. This approach is beneficial, but is dependent upon building more laboratories in other cities. However, he believes we can increase our scientific progress by focusing our research on xenoecology. Once we understand the local biology, we should be able to harness it for our scientific endeavors. Focus research towards xenoecology, explorer units gain one additional expedition module, or maintain a broad approach for, to research. No, we're going to go with this one because it'll get us um, breakthroughs a little bit faster. If we focus too much on alien studies, we may well lose sight of other possible advancements. Let us keep our research broad, indeed. Uh, okay, well, it looks like we may need to embark again then, unfortunately. Uh, trade unit destroyed. Ah, oh, damn it all. I knew that was a bad move. That was silly of me. Oh well, that that is really unfortunate, but uh, it it it's what happens, unfortunately, when when you can't control the area enough with soldiers. Okay, I would like to negotiate passage through your territory. One favor? No, I'm not going to pay you so you can come through my territory. I absolutely refuse. You can be stuck on the other side. You can use boats. I don't know why the AI thinks I would ever go for that deal. It seems remarkably silly, if you ask me. All right, aliens attacked near St. Henry, aliens attacked near Duwalden Varden, and change production. We clearly now need a few new things. We could get the Cytonursy, extra production there, Thorium Reactor, extra money, ultrasonic fence, keep the aliens away. But it would only keep them away at two. All right, we don't need that. We need it much, much further out. Uh, no. Have we got any deserts nearby? Yes, we do. We have a couple of deserts, actually. That may be worth doing. Four turns as well. 
But the extra science would be nice, the extra production would be nice. Trade, only two turns though. No, we're going to start making use of the fact that we've got this bonus, because uh, as much as I say, oh yeah, we've got this excellent bonus, we're going to make use of that, I really haven't been up to now. Oh, hello. I don't want you attacking my stuff, dude. So please, please be gone. Aha, we've got that. Good, good. Uh, right then. Um, how do we want to expand this area? Got plenty of marsh. Perhaps we could build a farm or something there, maybe? I'm not... Well, actually, it's a marsh. I'm not sure what I'd grow in a marsh. Fungus, maybe? A mushroom farm. Should have named this Castle Goat, and then I could have made mushroom tea. That has also been suggested, by the way, that I use the uh, names from my Nomoria series. I quite like that one. All right, we've got uh, additional population growth. We are growing very quickly now, and that is affecting our health in a negative way. Uh, let's have a quick look down here. Ooh, you've expanded a little bit then. Very well. We'll have you fortify there. And what can you do? You can actually build a farm. The marsh on this tower will be removed. Uh, well, I don't really know if I want to do that then. Clean. Uh, you can't build anything there. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, change the tower. It would have four food, one energy, or three food and three energy. The energy is very tempting. The energy is very tempting. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go for that. Alright. Let's... We've got enough fortification around these areas that we don't need to worry too much. Hopefully, these guys aren't going to become too aggressive towards us. Because we're slowly encroaching on their lands. My friend, would you be willing to enter into a cooperation agreement? My hope is that we can build a long-lasting partnership between our two colonies. Yes, let's work together. I'm okay with this. As long as you you don't expand too aggressively, I'm perfectly okay with this. There's no reason for us to have wars. Alright, what have we got now? We have just built a new trade convoy. I think we could go for the Psycho Nursery next, then. Uh, the trade convoy is not going down there. It can go over here instead. Or possibly. No, that's a very long way. Granted, there weren't many aliens around there, but no. We're going to go to uh, Fort Barker again. Try and get them up to their maximum level. That will help us in the immediate future, if nothing else. And we'll just uh, poke around here, find out a little bit more about these cities. You've got a 7 and a 2. I may have the highest population at the moment. 208. Ooh, wow. That's actually really good. Maybe I do have the highest population by a large margin, but I'm paying for it quite badly. Ah, we really need to fix that. Really, really need to fix that. Hopefully all of these being finished in the next four turns will help. No village was ever ruined by trade. I'm afraid it's still not... It's not going to help me at all to have open borders with you. And I frankly don't know why you want them. I'm a little bit suspicious. Right, let's have you uh, fortify there just to protect them. Right, okay. Let's go... S well, actually, I don't even need to go slowly anymore. I can just move quickly. Ooh. has noticed something strange nearby. Ha-ha! <laughs> Some sort of it is a crash satellite. In you order your well, if you're not going to make use of it, I will. To be found. How strong are you? Oh, you're very, very low. That's fine. I don't mind taking that, then. <laughs> Rightio. Let's see. Previous route. I see no reason to change that, except for the enormous amount of energy I would be getting from over there. Uh, no. I'm happy to allow my colonies to grow fast and have much higher production. At least until I don't need the production, then I can start uh, looking elsewhere. Uh, let's see. No, we're, we're still doing okay. How are you doing? You've got... You can have no trade routes. You can have one more trade route. Okay. We'll wait for a little bit. These will only be able to have two. Well, or as, as many as the uh, trade depot allows them. Our capital had an additional trade route simply because of the choices we made when setting up. 
There we go, city connection established. Uh, these roads, unfortunately, are costing me a little bit, but uh, let's see the quest decision. Earth's pharmaceutical industry was at its peak during the 21st century. While the drugs of that time were severely limited in ability, they did open our minds to the full potential of pharmaceuticals. Now that our pharma lab is functional, our technology has finally caught up with the potential. We just have to decide how best to utilize it. Enhance function or life extension. We can gain one science from pharma labs or one more health. One more health absolutely right now is better for us. The longer our people live, the more they can accomplish. This whole endeavor is about the continuation of the human species. Any progress toward life extension is progress toward our ultimate goal. I agree. Now, that has brought us very close to being back out of the mire that we found ourselves in. Right, we have built... We could go for that now, actually. Have we got any marsh around here? We don't. So there's no reason for a site or nursery yet. We're going to go for a... Ooh, Pharma Lab is going to cost us a lot. No, go for the Pharma Lab. That'll do. And as for you, we can have this. Gives us an extra production on this tile. I mean, it's not a lot right now, but it'll be worth it in the long run. And we're going to go and nab this little thing here. Yeah, don't mind us. I no, no, we're just looking at it. We're not, we're not researching it. What are, you, what are you talking about? Just using our eyes, not our highly sensitive and advanced scientific uh, devices. No, 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 no. It's amazing what you can learn with your eyes. There we are. They, they are going to contact us the moment we finish doing that. And I do this knowing that. Ho, ho, ho. All right, alien life form within range. There will be alien life forms within range of this city forever. We need to stop being notified about that. I would really like you to not be there. Honestly, I would. Hmm. Okay, we've grown again. Five, eight, and four. Ooh, at eight, we should be getting two culture. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Both of these are now, have now got a, a culture. And we are back to positive health once again. Now, if you can get that up to 10, you'll get some really good benefits. Up to 20 staggering benefits. I think 30 is the max, and at that point, you've got amazing benefits. It's really worth doing if you can manage it. Uh, I don't think I need the ultrasonic fence. Prevent alien units from approaching within two towers of the city. No. No, I think I would prefer another trade convoy. As for you, I would like to start expanding a little bit faster. So, old earth relic for you. Hopefully, we will be able to get these cities really heavily built up very, very soon. I want to start making a military, so once you finish with that, uh, I might go for the thorium reactor, possibly. Oh my god! Maybe I was a fool to choose not to go for the ultrasonic fence. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, let us hope that uh, I have not just doomed us. I mean, they've not attacked us yet with siege worms, so there's, there's no reason to believe that they're going to start now, but at the same time, that is bad, bad news for us. Okay, yeah, I, I think... I think it's probably wise that we actually use this ultrasonic fence. Five turns prevents alien units from approaching within two towers of the city. So that would prevent at least any aliens from getting this close to this city. I mean, it's not a huge help, but it is a help. So we'll go with it. Now, as for trade, we can't get down there as much as I wish we could. But we can possibly get all the way over there without being molested by aliens. And if we can, that's a lot of science for us. And also a lot of energy, honestly. There we go. Not too bad. If I had... Ooh. I'm delighted by the robust exchange of goods and wealth between our colonies. Let us protect and expand this lucrative arrangement. Now, the thing is, if I had... Uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't reach across the river. It would still only reach down there. Still might be worth doing. I wonder if it would work on enemy aliens. Uh, sorry, not enemy aliens, on, on competitors' aliens, because I know they've got a manticore. That might be interesting to find out. 
Your expedition team salvaged the wreckage of a crash satellite of some kind that was relatively intact after falling from orbit, resulting in many useful scrap materials that give your city of St. Helens a boost of 80 production. Fantastic. We are now one turn away. I love computers oh, because wonderful. they automate the tedious stuff and give us more time for important things like market manipulation. Really me? Really? See, I'm at, I'm at odds. Half the time I like what you say, and the other half I think you're as bad as the, the CEO of the Illuminati woman over there. But we can now build a spy agency, and that is very, very important for us. Okay. Get rid of that. Quest updated. Recent advancements in computer technology have led to the foundations of a sophisticated surveillance and COVID operations organization, provided there was a way to train COVID agents, indeed. Okay, well, let's have a look at what computing has to offer. Autonomous systems, which would give us master control. All worker units receive plus one un uh, movement, provides a free network in the city in which it is built. And a node, tile improvement, buildable by a worker. Yields plus two... Energy, so it's much like a generator, but gives a plus 20 HP heal for adjacent units every turn. That is really nice. Um, or we could go for the observatory. Mm, I'm not too interested in that. Uh, energy from geothermal well, quarry improvements. Panopticron or military units pl receive plus one sight. Uh, we could go for the Panopticon, I guess. Yeah. Let's try for another wonder. Uh, we've already read that one. That's fine. Get rid of that. I'm not too worried about getting the Panopticon, though. If we fail, we fail. and That's just life. Now, a network would give us science. Plus one science from copper. We don't have copper, so... I don't think it's going to work for us. Unless copper is like linked to our network or something like that. Uh, I can't seem to see a way to find out. But it's plus three science just by itself, so... Yeah, we'll go with that. And as for you... I think it is time for the Recycler. No, the, the Trade Demo first, and then we'll start building up our ability to trade. Because you can just trade straight away with Mandira. Might be worth trying to look around behind that city. In fact, you might even be able to get to Church of Dawn's Light without being harassed by the aliens. Ooh. That would be worth doing if we could pull it off. As for you, though, let's see about building up that mountain there. And it looks like that uh, satellite wasn't close enough to trigger their displeasure with us. I shall have to try harder, it seems. Okay. Uh... I'm not going to use my engine, my explorer to scout around the, the perimeter of this place because it would take too long because he moves so slow in the water. But I will get our explorer over to this continent and start having a look, I think. I think that would be well worth our time. So, especially since we can't be attacked by the uh, local sea life. All right. Next turn. Hopefully a good turn. Uh, I, I don't know. Panopticron. Seems like that is going to be... Someone's bound to be working on that. Ah, oh, they did not say... Okay. <laughs> We've noticed that you've been hunting for salvage and artifacts in our territory, and I noticed that you're not here for some reason. Is this just some sort of uh, telecommunication? Uh, not... Well... We mean no offense. We will take our search for useful materials elsewhere because you probably don't have any good materials there anymore. Thank you for heeding our request. Salvage your artifacts discovered on or near our land belongs to our people, not yours. If they were asking for the stuff back, it'd be a different story. Ooh, a new station. Red Sun, four energy. Hmm. That'd be nice. If I build a mine here, it'll give me plus two, or I can build energy on here. Uh, I'm going to go for a mine. Just because. I, th I think that would make a bit more sense on, on top of a mountain like that. Though, I mean, if it was like solar panels, I guess it would make sense there as well. You're up to five. That's fantastic. Eight, six, and five. This is the power of trade. We are growing uh, very, very quickly. Right, let's make our way up here then. We'll just make landfall just around there, I think. You can fortify okay. to protect our worker there. 
And we will continue for a little while. Six more turns on defense grid. That will actually give us the defense perimeter, which uh, gives city hit points of 40 and city defense plus 10. Um, that is, when things attack, we'll have 10 more strength in, in retaliating against them. We don't need to know about that right now. That is fine. And next turn straight away. What on earth's going on there? It seems to have... Oh, I thought it crashed. Uh, I wouldn't put it past Civ. It hasn't crashed on me yet, but uh, I wouldn't put it past. I mean, it's a brand new game. There's bound to be some hefty bugs in, this, in the software somewhere. Alright, almost there. And... Uh, do Weldon Varden is ready. We could... No, we're not going to go for a Saito Nursery. I don't think that would be the best thing for us. Um, that said, it is health and production and science. Are there marshes around here? There are marshes, so we are going to be expanding into that soon. So, I'll... No, we're going to go for a trade depot, I think. We're going to start seeing what we can do really start pushing our trade though you're going to be hard put to actually trade anything of use because we're not going to have any other cities nearby to trade with and that is a big problem still if we make another city of our own then it, we can perhaps trade with that and it won't be too bad there we go we are oh, really straight away an outpost as well. If they claim this tile and push us back into the water, I'm going to be most annoyed. More annoyed if, as a result, my unit ends up back at base. I don't think it would. That would be too exploitable, I imagine. Well, we are expanding well. Ah, I know what we can do. I might actually be willing to do it as well. Spend a little bit of money to expand up there. But we have... Yes, okay... Uh, spies, a lot of spies to be recruited. It's a wonder. No, we're not going to build that. We are, however, going to build a recycler. One food and two production. Alternatively, I could make a missile rover, which has a range of two. Range strength of 12 and strength of three. Uh... No. No, since we've just built the trade apple, let's build uh, some trading units first. Now, here we are. If we go for this, 15%, plus 15% build speed for tile improvements, we will gain plus 10% growth in every city straight away. Uh, minus 25% need for culture expansion, or we can go for science, extra science in each city as well. Um, no, we're going to go for this one. One more as well, near uh, tier one virtue needed for production in the capital and energy in the capital. So there we go. We can now go for these as well. Pioneer Spirit and Pathfinders. But we now have 10% extra growth in every city. Let's check out how that is affected everywhere. We're going to grow in eight turns in Singhenith, four turns in Demoria, and five turns in Dualden Varden. Fantastic. And we did get pushed over, but not into the water, which is nice. Let's just start expanding around here. Gold! You've got gold! Wow. Coral. All sorts of good things. Okay. Now then. We have fully connected these areas, which is very nice. Fully connected those areas. Where is our next city? Well, I imagine we're gonna. Our next city will be down here, honestly. Right. Quest updated. Solid state citizen. A spacecraft plummeted through the atmosphere and crashed not far away. Where did it come from? Who built it? What was their intention? We will find out in time once we have investigated the wreckage more fully. Where is it? Ah, bulls! Right next to them. They're gonna be annoyed if we go for that. Nevertheless, I'm going to go for it because I've got a quest. And I've also got a city that can build another explorer. Ha <laughs> ha, everything is falling together. I would go for a spy agency, but explorer. We have a quest, damn it. Let's have a poke around up here, though. All right. Now then, two turns there for two. 
we're, things are going along fairly well. The fence group is only one turn away. We've got a lot of money that I could probably invest in another trade unit if I really wanted to straight away there. I'm not sure if I do though. Not there. Could possibly expand down here. Omnipresent and okay. security measures make even the worst neighbors tolerable. <laughs> Omnipresent security measures make pretty much everything tolerable. <laughs> wow. All right, we can access robotics now, which would give us the tack jet, the auto plant, the ferraxite mine, and the manufactory. But I'm not particularly interested in that just yet. I would rather. Hmm. I can't really tell. I I think we should probably go for the xenomass. Well, so we're going to go for alien sciences. I think I'm going to take another sip of tea. And I think at this point we want to get up there. We should be able to manage it and build. No, 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 no! I want my eight soldiers to go up there as well. There we are. Should be able to build another plantation. And we should be able to go down here. Plenty of aliens around, it seems. Trade unit destroyed. No, I knew trading with you was a mistake. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, okay. Well, I guess you're going to be making another trade unit. Well, I don't think it, it would actually be useful since we, we haven't got that many more trade opportunities. You might be able to trade with Church of Dawn's Light without... Oh, dear. That isn't good. I wasn't able to tell them to fortify either. Crap. Okay, okay. That was about... Big mistake. We're going to pull back. I don't want to anger our neighbours. Let's pull right back for now. Same with you. We'll just let this place take over and we should be good. Let's not wind up the alien life forms. You, it's okay because they can't attack you. Oh, another alien net. Oh, and that's actually in their territory as well. Dere oh, derelict settlement. Use an explorer to build an expedition here and you will uncover rewards. Really? Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to do that then. As for you... Panopticon, I think, for nine turns. And with you, the old Earth Relic, so we expand just that little bit faster. I'm hoping they're going to be able to survive, because hopefully these guys aren't going to be able to get down there to attack them easily. The Manticore isn't going to do enough damage to kill them outright, that is. Though it looks like the damage may have been spread, unless that was how da much my worker was damaged from uh, previously moving through my asthma. It looks like they may have forgiven me. Okay, that's that's not too bad then. Well, for now, we'll explore a little bit more. And, in fact, let's just move you in there and have you heal for a turn. And have you do much the same. Fortify until you're healed. Uh, right, previous route. We want to continue these routes because the extra production is incredibly important to us. Especially when building wonders. Right, you have built the generator there, by the looks of it. Did that not change things? Oh, okay. That doesn't look as uh, developed as I was expecting it to be. But that's fine. Let's get you over there and get another farm up. As for you, hopefully we can move... Ah, oh, there's someone there. Okay, fine. We'll go this way. Now, actually... I'd like to negotiate passage through your territory. It's not happening until you suit in this deal. I want money, or science, or maybe cities. Sorry, but no. I'm really tempted to purchase that land. I am in here. They've got uh, rangers by the looks of it. Oh, 
Okay, we've got our first trade unit. We can have the defensive perimeter. But I'm not going to go for that just yet. We're going to go for a recycler because... Well... Hopefully, we're going to be able to trade with the Church of Dawn's Light. This is what I would prefer to trade with. We'll see how it goes. Oh, or we could trade... Ooh. Really? That is particularly useful. I didn't realize that each of my cities could trade with each other. Oh, that's very nice. Still, I wouldn't mind that extra culture, but no, we're going to go with that just for the extra production. Oh, wait. I just decided I was going to go around the other way. <laughs> Damn it, I forgot what I was doing. Uh, right, we'll try and cross this water. I'm probably going to go for a virtue that's going to give them extra... Uh, re extra expedition modules rather than move them all the way back down here. Uh, can I have you just fortify there and heal? Yes, I can. I couldn't in the city for some reason. That's odd. Five turns there. We've got seven turns on the Panopticon. Which is a pretty interesting uh, old theoretical prison. I, I don't believe one was ever made. But uh, you should look up Panopticon in, uh, on Google. It's actually really, really interesting. I, I studied it when I was uh, doing my... Uh, while, while I was studying for my uh, AI degree. The idea that if everyone thinks they can be seen, it doesn't matter if you can see everyone or not, they'll self-police. Those Victorians were clever folk. Okay, another small city. Lots of very small cities around here, but you're expanding pretty nicely. But I can only imagine that this alien nest is, is helping you. But whatever this settlement used to be has been utterly ruined by that worm. Right. Let's see. What should we get over here? Have I built a trade depot? Yes, I have. And let's also build a recycler. If only they would clear up some of this miasma, then I could get through there, and I could trade with you properly. I'm, I'm almost tempted to do it my bloody self so that I can trade with you. And we'll get a farm going here as well. Okay, things are looking up. We're almost over there with our explorers. And only six turns away from the Panopticon. And in silence of five turns. Okay, well the turns are starting to take a little bit longer to process now. If it gets really long, I will actually just start uh, editing that out. But uh, I'll, I'll leave them in for the time being. But I think we'll see if we can get up there. We can't quite make it. We can get close, but not all the way. But I think it is probably time. We can't get close to there because they're going to get upset if we do. Uh, right, what can I do with you? No, we'll, we'll continue trading there. Six pro productivity, uh, sorry, six production per turn and five energy per turn. It is well worth a visit. And with that, I'm going to wrap this episode up. So, in the next episode, we're going to find out what this little crash satellite has to tell us. But until then, and as always, do take care.